nucleic acids are the building blocks of life. Wait, but isn't DNA the building blocks of life? Yes, both are correct. DNA is a type of nucleic acid, and in this video we are going to have a quick look at another type, RNA. We have both DNA and RNA in our bodies. We need them both. DNA is the blueprint. It contains all of the instructions for the cell to grow, function and replicate. The RNA carries out these instructions. It copies and transfers the genetic code from the DNA to ensure the relevant proteins are made. So just think of it as DNA makes RNA makes proteins. So let's look at how they differ. Whereas DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. Whilst DNA is double-stranded, RNA is single-stranded. Like DNA, RNA is made up of a long chain of nucleotides. Each nucleotide consists of a ribose sugar, phosphate group and nucleotide base. RNA has a sugar called ribose, whereas DNA has a sugar called deoxyribose. Look here, RNA has a base, uracil or U, whereas DNA has the base thymine or T. So in RNA, C and G still pair, but now A and U pair. We need to know about RNA because we will see it when learning about protein synthesis. We will see these two special types of RNA, messenger RNA, which is known as mRNA, and transfer RNA, which is known as tRNA. We will see the mRNA being synthesized inside the nucleus, copied from the DNA code. The tRNA is found in the cytoplasm. For many years, we just thought RNA was a DNA photocopier, as mRNA, the protein builder, as tRNA, and found in ribosomes, as rRNA. However, RNA can also act as enzymes to speed up chemical reactions, and in many viruses, they have RNA instead of DNA. The RNA carries the genetic codes in those viruses. So there we have RNA. From this video, you should now know about the existence of RNA. It is a single-stranded nucleic acid that has a base U instead of a base T.